Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video you will learn how you can apply your sunscreen and foundation. Now you're getting started with your sunscreen application, then wait 5 to 10 minutes, which is a really important step so that your sunscreen has time to set and then move on to your foundation and the rest of your makeup. But also I do want to quickly go over the steps that you also can use before applying your sunscreen. Just in case you also may want to use other skincare products beforehand. And then knowing the right order of application, what to use first, what comes after is very confusing. So therefore I also do want to emphasize it as well so that you have a better understanding in case you're using those products. Now your first step is always going to be washing your face with a cleanser that's suitable for your skin type as well as for your skin needs. Please do not skip this step. It doesn't matter how many products you're going to use in between. Washing your face is important. Then also, if you have a toner at home, this is going to be your second step after you have washed your face. Then if you also want to use a serum, this is also going to be your third step after your toner application. And then if you like to, you can also use a moisturizer if needed. So please keep the steps in mind. You're going to get started with your cleanser, toner, serum, moisturizer, and then you're going to apply your sunscreen on top. So basically your sunscreen is going to be your last step in your skincare routine if you have one. Now, of course, the steps that I just mentioned are optional, but I just want you to also have a better understanding of how you can use your products before applying your sunscreen. And then once you're done with your sunscreen application, then you can also move on to your makeup application. Now, I also want to demonstrate it on my face and therefore I want to mainly keep also my face in focus as well as my neck so that you also can see the demonstration and also have a better understanding. As for my sunscreen, I'm going to use a Nivea sunscreen. If you have a different sunscreen at home that you're currently using, that's totally fine. This will work with any sunscreen. What's really important is that you're choosing a sunscreen that protects your skin well, as well as also that feels comfortable on the skin. If it doesn't feel comfortable on the skin, it won't feel comfortable the rest of the day. So therefore, this is a really important factor that you also have to keep in mind. Now, when it comes to applying your sunscreen, make sure to also basically use a sunscreen and use a fair amount of it so that you can evenly cover and protect your skin. And for this purpose now, I'm going to keep my face in focus as well as my neck. So use about a fair amount. In that specific case, using a, a little bit more is also important than not enough. So please make sure to also use enough so that you can apply an even layer all over where you also want to protect your skin. And then you're going to get started with the application. Don't forget any like um, areas that you also want to cover when also being exposed to the sun and also protecting your skin. And take your time when also applying the sunscreen. Make sure to also use it evenly all over your face. Do not forget any areas. So, as I just demonstrated, the amount of sunscreen I've used, I used it on my face as well as neck. If you also want to go further towards your décolletage, your ears, also maybe behind where the sun can also burn basically your skin and also your like shoulders and the rest of your body, please make sure to use even more sunscreen for those areas. This is really important to emphasize. And if you have a face sunscreen as well as also a body sunscreen, then of course you have to use more and also adjust it to the areas that you also want to protect. But for this specific purpose, I mainly want to keep the focus towards my face as well as neck area. Now, what's really important is also don't forget to go over your eyes as well as under your eyes, also really around, close around your mouth and also the rest of your face and apply it evenly. Take your time when also blending it all over. And if you have a sunscreen that's also a bit wide in the beginning, can also help you to figure out where you have already blended your sunscreen so that you can see on, like, on what areas you have already blended it and also where you're missing some areas. And then when it turns into the invisible or depending also on the mineral sunscreen you're using, which also leaves 
leave a bit more of a white cast, you still can see and also feel where you have applied it. What's important is how evenly you're going to apply it. Take your time. Once you're done with the application of your sunscreen, you're going to give it some time to set. Because when also applying your sunscreen, and if you're going to now would quickly apply your foundation on top, you would move the sunscreen around, meaning that you're going to smear it around and maybe you also will end up with areas where your skin is not going to be um, as protected anymore. Therefore, giving this gap 5 to 10 minutes or even longer in between is important. At that, like during that time, drink coffee, have breakfast, maybe get ready with your hair and the rest of your like clothes, etc. to also pass that time. But please do not um, overdo it too quickly, otherwise it can't give you the protection anymore. So that's really important. I'm now going to give it 5 to 10 minutes so that it can set and then we're going to move on to the foundation. So now that the sunscreen also feels like it has set itself, I'm now also ready to move on to the foundation. But I also do want to quickly emphasize that in case, depending also on what like makeup routine you're having, you may also want to use a primer in between. Now when also applying your primer, use it before applying your foundation. And still, when also applying it, please be gentle when also applying it. It's really important to know, because you have the sunscreen underneath, to not use too much pressure, but still to make sure that you can also evenly blend it. So I'm also going to use the primer underneath, which is also by The Ordinary, so that you also can see the steps, which you can do in between. Now I'm going to use a bit of the primer and I'm also going to use it where we really need it. Now some people prefer to use the primer all over their face, other ones just prefer to use it on certain areas where they have a little bit more like textured skin. That's totally fine. The way that you're going to apply your primer or if you're going to use it on certain areas or all over your face is basically also very individual. I'm just going to use it where I have larger pores which is mainly my T-zone, cheeks, as well as my chin. And then you can also move on to your foundation. Now, if you usually do not really use also a primer, that's totally fine, just skip it. And you can also immediately move on to your foundation part. So now that I have applied the primer, I'm also ready for the um, application of my foundation. Now, the, basically the way that you're going to apply your foundation, if you're going to apply it with your fingers, with a brush or with a sponge, is very individual. I'm going to use the Ordinary Zone foundation and I'm going to apply it with a brush. But what foundation you're using, this can be liquid, cream, powder, and the way that you're going to apply it to your face does not Play, play a big role. This is fairly individual. But what matters, since you have your sunscreen underneath, is the pressure. So please make sure that when also applying your foundation, BB, CC cream, tinted moisturizer, be gentle with your skin. Do not use too much pressure, but still make sure that you can also evenly apply it. That's really important. So those are also some tips that I can also share with you to make sure even though the sunscreen has already set, to not move it around too much in some cases so that you still have the protection evenly all over your face. And so now for the foundation, I'm going to use a bit on the back of my hand and then I'm going to apply it with the brush. Now, If you're using it with your fingers or with a sponge, it will be the same thing. Now the application method changes a bit, but the, how much pressure you're going to use does like basically not really change. And so I'm going to get started with the center of my face and then gently blend it all over my skin so that I also can evenly apply it. Now I like to also use some swiping motions at first to also make sure that I can blend it evenly all over my face and then I also like to go ahead and use circular motions. But I'm being really light-handed, so I'm not going to put too much pressure on it, just so that it is enough for the foundation to also spread out evenly.
So, and once you are done with your foundation application, you now can also go ahead if you like to and also move on to your like concealer application, then move on to your eye makeup as well as your lips. I'm not going to go into those details um, for me personally, also for this video, just because the main focus is the sunscreen and the foundation, which plays a big role because you're using both products all over your face. But I do also want to emphasize one more thing, and this is also when moving on to your powder. Now, when also using your powder, this is fairly individual if you also want to use it. This depends on your skin type, the finish that you also like. Um, but I also do want to emphasize that certain sunscreens can make someone shiny, which is something that you either like or hate. Um, for that specific case, if you prefer to have a matte finish and you still want to use your sunscreen underneath, you can first of all look also for mattifying sunscreens. This can already help you to not have like a shiny face all over the place. But also, on the other hand, if you feel like a mattifying sunscreen may be too dry for your skin, then you can also move on to a bit more of a shinier fluid, but you can then also go ahead and instead also use a bit of powder. And what you can do is also once you're done with the main steps of your like makeup routine, is also just go ahead and mattify the areas that you also wanted to like reduce the shininess. And this is something that's really individual, but I also do want to emphasize that if you have a sunscreen that's fairly like shiny and you don't like the shine of it, just take a bit of powder. Um, it doesn't matter if you also want to use a foundation or you just want to mattify your sunscreen, basically. Those are like two great steps that I can share with you, is that you can take powder to also mattify it. And one other point which I also do want to emphasize is depending also on the powder you choose, you may also want to go with a powder already also a sunscreen that has already SPF in it. That's also a great way on how you can also layer the different sunscreen protections on it. But if you also want to mattify it a bit because it's too shiny, using a bit of powder is basically the way to go. And so now basically that I have also applied the foundation, also like turned it down a bit with the mattifying like powder, this is basically the finish that I really like. This is fairly individual, but I also do want to emphasize those steps. When it comes to your eye makeup, your lips, just play around with your makeup, go with your usual makeup routine. But that's really the main focus, that when applying your sunscreen and then your foundation, or maybe use your primer in between, this is also personal preference, Waiting in between is really the key point. Give it five to 10 minutes so that your sunscreen can set and then move on. This is really something that I do wanna emphasize again because it is really important. And then what sunscreen you're using, what foundation you're using or other makeup products are very individual. Now you also may have another question. Well, I'm um, also applying daily my makeup because uh, this is also how I like to get ready in the morning, but I'm worried about the reapplication of my sunscreen. Well, I do also want to emphasize and go a bit into that topic as well, because when wearing makeup and you have your sunscreen underneath, um, you're probably not going to take everything off like during the day and reapply everything. So therefore, I do want to emphasize that you do not need to reapply your sunscreen if you have used enough of your sunscreen, if you also have a higher SPF of sunscreen, and also when not being exposed to the sun for the entire day. I do want to give you an example. So um, I have, for example, the sunscreen I used was the one from Nivea has SPF of 50. That's already pretty high. So if I'm going to use that one and I'm also going to use a fair amount of it, I do not really need to worry about it during the day to also worry about the reapplication because it will give me enough protection for the entire day. And the way that you are probably also going to wear your makeup is not really being exposed to the sun, like direct sunlight the entire day. You are seeking shade, you have maybe an office job, you are being inside, you are like having breaks in between where you are not being exposed to the sun for the entire day. And if you are working at a place where you are being exposed to the sun for the entire day, you're probably not going to wear makeup a lot because it's just going to annoy you. Because when applying makeup and you're having it on and you're really being in front, like in direct sunlight, you're going to feel hot, sweaty and really uncomfortable that you probably would remove it anyway uh, during the day. So in that like, 
prospect, I do want to emphasize that if you're a person that wears makeup, you're probably not really sunbathing in the sun um, because that's not really like how I would imagine wearing it because I used to live in the tropics in Australia and when I wore my makeup to also go to work I had an office job yes I was being exposed to the sun it's in the tropics you have like all like year summer but I was only being exposed to the sun to like maybe half an hour when I went from the bus to my workplace or maybe also from my workplace back to the bus so that was kind of my time where I was exposed to the sun and using sunscreen of SPF 50 and then also having a job like this, this is enough protection for the entire day. And then on the other hand, if I'm really being exposed to the sun, like going to the Great Barrier Reef to also snorkel with like fish, um, I hadn't used any makeup. I just wear, like had my bare face, I used sun protection, I reapplied it every two hours. This is where I really reapplied the sunscreen because there was nowhere shade. I was in the water, water makes the protection not better, so you have to reapply it even more often. And this is where we are playing is really important only when being in the sun for an entire day and so if that's the case you're probably not wearing like any makeup and you also don't have to forget you're wearing protecting clothes like a hat or maybe like an umbrella that you have with you so to also protect your face so you have to consider those aspects and also see well how do I work? Why do I wear makeup? And um, if that's enough, then you don't need to reapply it. So the reapplication point of reapplying your sunscreen every two hours only occurs when you're being in front of like the direct sunlight for an entire day. Then it's really important. But using an of your sunscreen, using a high SPF will be enough um, for the day that you also go by. So don't worry too much about the reapplication part when also wearing makeup. You always could go ahead and use a powder that also includes SPF 30 or so that you also could reapply over your face to you have another like certain amount of protection. But generally speaking, when also using it this way, there's no need to reapply it. This is also something that I do also want to emphasize and also do want to mention that if you also want to know more about um, how much sunscreen you're going to use to also have an even application since I did not really go into the amount of sunscreen that I'm using, it's more about the application, then I have also other videos for you at the end of this video which you also can check out if you like to. Now this is also what I wanted to share with you. I also do hope that you now have a better understanding on how you can apply your sunscreen as well as your makeup afterwards and also the tips that I shared along with it. If you like this video, please also don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye!